Oh, uh, she got fucked up. Oh, uh, how do they do this? Oh, fuck. What's up guys, Boreshaw back again with another video. It's Monday again, so you know I have to go and review the latest Walking Dead episode. I just need to address something. My last Walking Dead video did get taken down. I got a copyright strike, so I'm trying to sort that out at the moment. If you've seen my season nine, episode nine reaction, and Rome where episode 10 is, it has been taken down for the moment. I'm trying to get it back up. And as soon as it is, I'll let you guys know. Make sure to follow my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, any info and updates go on there straight away so you'll be able to see what's going on with the channel. So yeah, long story short, I'm sorting it out and we will get there in the end. Anyways, back to today's reaction. Last week episode was a very, very good one. We had our first flashback in a while. Like I can't remember the last time Walking Dead did a flashback like this. But we got to see Alpha's backstory, Lydia's upbringing. Um, the kind of person her mum was before she became Alpha of the Whisperers. And she seemed to have been crazy from then. So I think the apocalypse was, for some people, the apocalypse is a way to be free of all their societal constraints. And it feels like Alpha was one of them. As soon as shit hit the fan, she was murdering people straight away. Henry, he's making some dumb decisions. I get he's a kid. I get he's naive and he's not as clued up as Carl was. But it just annoys me that we still have this kind of ignorance in the apocalypse at this late stage of the game. There shouldn't be any children around that don't know what the world is like, what it is expected of them and how to survive. I know he's got a good heart and he has feelings for Lydia. Like, I'm not saying that he should be cold hearted and stuff straight away, but he should understand the logic of what's going on. He's putting people in danger by letting her out. And fair enough, his and Daryl's plan has worked so far in rehabilitating Lydia. It may not have worked. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's a risk that he was taking with befriending this girl that, until a few days before that, had been trying to kill members of their community. I understand what he's going through. I just want him to, you know, mature a little bit faster. But I guess it makes for good storytelling. And it was a good episode, so we'll just have to see. Alpha arrived in the last scene and her arrival, her entrance was badass. Like, the whole way that she was walking up through the whisperers and shit, and she had a shaved head, she looks different, she's all dirty. She looks intimidating. Like when I first saw her, and she had a mask on, and she had a southern accent, the way she just announced herself with presence, um, <laughs> like it was, it was great. And I'm excited to see what she does this episode. The situation as it stands is that Alden and Luke have been taken by Alpha. The whisperers are now knocking on Hilltop's door. Lydia is with the hilltop guys in prison. Connie is in the in the little cornfield outside and she's hiding there so hopefully she doesn't get caught because I don't want any of the newbies to get killed just yet or if they get killed it's gonna have to be some epic war type shit. It's gonna be a tense episode I know already because there's people outside. We haven't seen these communities interact with each other yet completely and I'm just excited to see what happens. So this is The Walking Dead season nine episode 11 Bounty. Let's get straight into it. Okay. Nabila and I are bunned up. Oh. We're up the pole. Jerry been getting some. We're prego. Preggers. Got our preg on. <laughs> that's that's Nabila's amazing. pregnant? Doc says about eight weeks. Dude. I could be a daddy, your majesty. <laughs> oh, if Jerry died, I'd be so upset. Remember that time he nearly died? In all that war. What the fuck are you doing, Jerry? Oh, Jerry. Jerry. That's nasty. They're coming. Black cow's hair like that. Much better than the legless hair she's got now. Oh, Jesus. Jesus and baby Tara. We're just getting flashbacks every episode now, I guess. Yeah, I kind of took off with more supplies and the council was willing to spare. I get why they think Alexandria couldn't do more. Oh than shit, Tara just left like that? I need to know what happened. Something bad happened that split everybody up and I want to know what it is. Michonne was letting it collect dust. What's that, her bill of rights? Constitution right now. So we thought you could hold on to it. I am glad that Tara is now the new leader of Hilltop though. She needs to be a leader. A bigger role. 
a bit upset that she split up from Rosita though. Those two are my apocalypse babes. Until that day, I am honored to be the keeper of Path 4. That's what we were counting on. Thank you again. Oh, I miss Jesus, man. For everything. Tom Payne did such a good job, and he was right, man. They didn't know what to do with him. If Tara dies, ooh, I don't even know how upset I'd be. Oh shit, they did it all official? That's crazy. Alexandria, Kingdom, Oceanside. Is that it? Where's Hilton? Hey, Wasn't that one from Hilltop and Back now she's just up. staying at Kingdom? That's crazy. I remember when I used to think that she was a spy for the for the saviors. We should have added shit to it. Sanctuary and hilltop, nice. Onward to collect our bounty. Oh shit! And he jumped to that horse like a boss. I wonder how they make their armor. Oh shit! First pistol. Ezekiel's got a gun. Oh shit. Let's get it. I just want my daughter. I know you have her. You should turn around. Leave now, no one gets hurt. That room. Wrong answer. <laughs> oh shit. Do you play no get oh there's more of them? I wonder how many. There actually are, because Saviors had a lot of people, so they need to have more than that for them to be any sort of threat. I know they're threatening at the moment, but for me, it's numbers. Like, if she has a whole fucking city of whisperers, that's the fear. Look at her. She's just like, fuck you guys. Two of the communities could take them out this much anyway. If they had guns. Which one are you? How's it matter? Then I'll just address all of you. Oh, <laughs> shit. Your people crossed into our land. There will be no conflict. Your people killed our people. There will be no conflict. I'm done talking. Oh, shit. Bring me my daughter, or there will be conflict. Oh, shit. She said, I'm done talking. Bring her to me, or there will be smoke. But all the smoke right now. Done talking. I'm not. Come on. Daryl, I don't know why Daryl's going out there. He's not, he's not suited to this to this negotiating thing. He's gonna cause problems. He's already telling people they're gonna get hurt. Where's everybody else going, and why are you scared to tell me? Scared? What? <laughs> <laughs> Jim, scared. What? No hey, Ezekiel, you pussy whipped. Pussy whipped. What are getting? DVDs? I hope Daryl doesn't lose his head. He needs to keep it under control. Oh, okay. shit. I wonder how long it takes for them to make their masks. And how much they must smell. Fuck. Can't have her. Why, Daryl? Now. It's a fight you're looking for. We got enough firepower to light you up. He knows that they haven't used guns yet. Now. Doesn't mean that they won't. You got a shotgun, damn it. We're animals. The animals live out here. I like the way she talks now. a baby. So we have babies out here. Now, what were you saying? About lighting us all up? Oh, shit. Want uh, Luke's mask doesn't fit him. Is, can someone get him a new mask? 
used to love movie nights. It's been five years since our last projector bulb burned out. Oh shit, that's what they're getting, projector bulb. Okay. I get it. Carol, I know it's like risky, but you've not been in this for six years. It can't be that risky no more, man. Tell the walkers in there. You're not gonna have the walkers, can you? The fuck? I think a spider just dropped. One second, I must dispose of this intruder. My kid's head seeing a movie. Oh, he's got his kiddies. He's thinking about his kids. Keep you safe. <laughs> oh, everybody needs a Jerry. I wonder what happened to him. Because he's just way too optimistic and joyful. That means he either went through some bad shit or bad shit has never happened to him. Oh, who's this motherfucker? What happened to you? There's a lot of zombies in here. Fucking hell. Whoa. Oh, she got fucked up. Oh, dude. How do they do this? Oh, fuck. Uh, uh. So that guy from before, that wolf from before, fucked himself up with a popcorn machine. Ah, oh, shit. More whispers. Look, these are dead guys. Your mask isn't on properly, my dude. Now. Keep him back. Why through the prisoners? For now. Nice. It's like they've split the head and then they close it around and, and sew it up. It's not like full, full mask. Cause his bit was falling off and shit. And I don't really know how it works because does a rotten flesh make them stay away? Oh, that's sick. I don't think that actually means what he said it means. I think he's just... Like, anybody that knows sign language, tell me if that was an actual, like, sentence. Hey, she's gone. How you mean she's gone? Her door was open. Key was in the lock. Oh, time was so Carol, good. You know we have to do this. All right, split up. Find Henry, we find a girl. Henry is a motherfucker. You should have known this was going to happen. Fucking hell. House. Anybody check the barn? I'll check. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh. Forgot about him. Is that wearing two different shoes? Oh, fuck, Daryl, use the bath and clean your clothes, change your clothes. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's sick. They're in danger as well. Fuck. Quiet that child, man. You know what this is. Oh, shit. She don't even care. Oh. You gonna sacrifice the baby? I thought you were just gonna both die. No, she'd rather let the baby die. What is the point of their survival? What is the point of them? Baby! The last of the dead. Seems to live in silence. The mother can't quiet the child. And the dead will. Natural selection. Oh, <laughs> I, I like her. I like Alpha. Fucking hell, I like Alpha. They're not, they're still going towards the baby. Come on. Fuck. That does not mean what he say it means. Connie, please don't get yourself killed going for this baby. I know people are going to be upset by the baby, but shit, if you're having babies in the apocalypse, you're irresponsible as fuck. Oh. Nice. Oh, 
Wow, these bastards. Run, run back to the game. Why would you run out into enclosed space? You had open space around you. Go run around the cold field, damn it. Oh, she can't hear shit. Fuck. Tex! That was just luck. The Connie could be Bay as well, you know, if she survives. If Whisperers come into this cornfield, she's done for. Fuck, another one, shit. Oh, fuck. You have to hear the vibrations or feel the vibrations or something. Oh, this is it. No, 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 oh shit, come on. You can do this. Yeah, go. You know what, Alpha is a lot like Carol, just on the other side of the spectrum, so I'd love to. The same way Negan was a lot like Rick, I'd like to see Alpha and Carol face off. I just don't want you getting your hopes up if it doesn't happen. And I can't wait to see the look on your face if it does. What if the fair isn't enough? What if more trade and more training isn't enough? I feel like something bad's gonna happen at this damn fair. We should talk to Jesus about the possibility of taking us in if things get worse. Weapons up. Prepare for a breach. Oh, prepare for a breach. Wait, what the fuck? Did that woman just open the door? How'd he get through there? Jerry! You have one job. If you smash that and let people die, I swear, John Jerry. Oh, he made her look pretty. He gave us some clothes. Did he wash that pumps though? He wasn't supposed to come. She broke her own rules. Maybe she. Oh shit. Maybe she's. She's different when she's cleaned up. She's not. People like that don't get to be sorry. Henry, no one wants this. Trust me, like. I understand how Henry feels, but Lydia is not part of their group. You're putting people in danger. She'll kill them if we don't give her back. No, there's got to be another way. There nope. isn't. I'm sorry. No, it's about your age. I... It's she said around your age. No wonder she didn't want him. He's a little boy to her now. How old is Henry me. there? What, like 15, 16? She's probably about, like, what, 21, 22? All about surviving somehow. He had a little crush on her. And then someone else close to me died. And I found someone his own age. Someone special. With a big heart. He left me a letter reminding me that just surviving, it isn't living. Nope. Just survive somehow. You live with it by staying who you are. We're not letting the bad things change you. I'm gonna go. I have to. She's my mother. They're my people. I Thank you for talking sense into him. And I miss you too. Ew! Ew! How many words and other people's penises? Oh, hopefully this is the end of it, man. Just take her and go. I know it's not gonna be, but don't do anything bad now. Bro, right, look at this music, shit. Alpha looks like a fucking boss. Look at her. I wish Rick was here, man. That was gonna get things fucked up. He didn't want to do that. He knows what it's like. Shit. Oh, I knew it was coming. You call me Alpha. I call the rest. She was like a psychopath. Smiling at them. Shit, she knows they're weak, that's why. 
Queen's call count for something? Because I say we stay and we fight for what we Shit. Can. It's just a few kills each. Oh shit, she still got her knife. She still got her knife. That's sick. The attention to detail in this show is crazy. I said it's just for you. Call me Strick. So are we doing this or what? And we got ourselves projector ball. We did. You are right. It's smart to be ready for any eventuality. Maybe we're done losing. Oh, don't say that. Yeah, maybe. Don't say that. Oh, it's the symbol for Alpha. Saw the scars Shit. on the back. Look. The world is just yep. shit sometimes. I'd understand if it was one of them, but it's not. Like you can't risk the life of your community for someone who doesn't even belong to the community. Not in that way. You don't know what was gonna happen. It's better that you upset that Lydia's gone back to abusive mother than have like four different deaths on your hands because you were fucking around. Not really. I did what I had to do today. We all did. Oh, I want to know what happened. I don't know how the others are struggling. It hasn't come through. Life's just like that. And I don't know. He's not drinking that moonshine. It will feel rich for control. Oh, sex is sex of time. But I won't push. What's that a fucking scorpion thing? Maybe all that. He's not got another baby. Maybe Tammy Rose will be fucking hate now. What do you want? You want some dow penis? Shit. What? I found this in, in Henry's room. Why are you in Henry's room? Oh, she wants to go as well. Yeah, left to find Lydia. He's not attracted. How the fuck's he gonna find her? Nope. Nope. You need someone that can sign with you because I'm not there trying to look. And signal to you when there's walkers about and have to throw stones at the back of your head and shit. Oh, I, I don't care if you can't, can't live with it either. I think that baby thing traumatized her, man. She's just. She's like, they could just leave the baby there. These are people that we can't let Lydia go around with. Is this another door? The fuck? They had another like, little gate before, and I was. Oh, I remember this door. Oh shit. Woo! Another episode in the bag. These episodes are really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said it before, Walking Dead is one of my favorite shows. Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, top two out of everything I've ever watched. And I watch a lot of shit. I'm excited about this season. This season has breathed new life in. I'm happy that a lot of the naysayers and a lot of people that fell off are coming back to the show. <sighs> I just can't wait for the episodes each week and that's the feeling that I love watching an episode and being upset when it finishes. It was a really good episode. We got a lot of interaction between Alpha and the rest of the communities. We got a lot of interaction between Alpha, Daryl, other people from Hilltop. You could see how commanding and imposing Alpha is. She's a great villain and her followers believe her. Like that lady sacrificed her babe. She was quick to try and calm it down. But then when push came to shove, she was more scared of Alpha and what they'd do to her. She left her baby. She just had to leave it because, I don't know, man, having children in the apocalypse, if it's an accident, fair enough. But, bro, I don't know, man, that's, that's kind of dangerous. You could tell that Alpha's smart as well. She brought the baby out so that they wouldn't fire off guns just in case they did have them. The only thing I would say is that Alpha and the Whisperers did leave. But I don't want Henry and Daryl to go off kidnap which is kidnapping because she doesn't does she doesn't belong with them but kidnap Lydia and cause a war because that's what they did with the saviors and we all know how many lives are lost because of that war so I don't I understand why Henry and Daryl want Lydia back and if you was in that situation you'd probably want her back too but you have to understand that these are communities like there's other people involved there's other people's lives at stake and 
because you can't live with her being abused by mum doesn't mean that you're going to be able to live with half the community being slaughtered because you decided to become a hero. We got to see a lot more of the kingdom, King Ezekiel, Jerry and Carol. They're on a nice mission. It was a nice little juxtaposition between the kingdom's mission and getting something because of the pure joy of it and just hope and happiness and fighting for something that is more than just survival compared to what was happening at Hilltop where it was so tense and you were just scared of what was going to happen at every second. Loved the, 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 the two comparisons. The music that Alpha has and shit, the pre it just shows her presence in that. So, ah, oh, it was just, it was great TV. Anyways, guys, I'll give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. There's nothing I really didn't like about it. The episodes, I feel like they're getting shorter. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know why they can't be at least 45 to 50 minutes long. This is AMC. I don't I really understand why we don't have an hour long episode every single week. This was like 41 minutes, so... It's a bit annoying, like it's a, a random number, I don't understand. Whisperers are continuing to be a big, scary threat, and I can't wait to see more of them. Those are my thoughts on The Walking Dead, Season 9, Episode 11, Bounty. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember to turn the post notifications on. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this reaction. And as usual, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Taylor about the fucking flex.